Book six of 2020 was American Wife by Curtis Sittenfeld. So I got given this book as part of book club Secret Santa. I don't think that I would have ever have picked it to read just looking at the cover um, and the synopsis wasn't particularly kind of gripping that would make me kind of want to read it. So I'm really glad actually that I got given this as Secret Santa because it was really good and I did really enjoy it. Um, essentially it is kind of a story about the first lady of America who's married to the president and initially I didn't kind of realise that it was based on a true story I was just kind of like reading it thinking that it was kind of fictitious so I found it really interesting afterwards when I was like googling to find out who it was because I, I kind of thought okay it could be this one or it could be this one and then when I kind of and based on the character of Alice, who's the main character as well. And then when I got to the end and found out who it was, and then I started looking at the history and looking how it was quite similar, I was like, ooh, like it's really, really quite similar to um, their actual, like, real lives. So that was uh, was really interesting. It's really good because you immerse straight away into Alice Blackwell's uh, life, which is the main protagonist of the book. And you kind of see the reality of a relationship between people who are, are in the kind of political um, sphere, if you will. Uh, so you kind of see behind the curtain to their relationship and, and see how, you know, each individual is a human being, regardless of the of their position in office. And they have their flaws and the people around them love them in spite of those or even because of those flaws. And it kind of shows as well that they've got like you know relationships with family and friends that are aside from their actual kind of political role so it's kind of like the other side of like somebody in politics so i thought that, that was a really kind of nice insight and, and really kind of interesting because the person is is viewed as like just like a human character rather than you know you never actually really kind of find out about um charlie's who's the the uh, guy who becomes president you never really oh damn I've just spoiled, spoiled that for you because it's not oh I shouldn't have said that because basically as you're reading it you're kind of wondering whether or not um this character is going to be the one that's married to her and is the president or is it going to be this character but yeah it, it's Charlie um and it's weird because when they meet each other I was kind of thinking like these two shouldn't get married because they're so different to each other and they've got such different personalities. Like she's quite uh, like bookish and quite quiet and quite kind of like conservative and, and quite um, reserved as a, as a person. She's very kind of like polite and nice to everybody. Whereas he's very kind of like laddish and, and kind of extroverted and, and kind of wants to be the centre of attention, really gregarious and, and a bit of an idiot sometimes. And so I was kind of like, why are these two together? Like, it doesn't make any sense for them to be married. But then it's funny, actually, because I'm quite like her in the sense of I'm quite bookish, I'm quite reserved, I'm quite quiet occasionally. Um, I'm sure my friends will probably go for it me saying that. But, um, and, and I am attracted to people who are gregarious and want to be the centre of attention, which is, which is odd. And I try to not like try and uh, get with those people because it never works out. But with these two, it, it did. Um, although they had quite a few problems in their marriage. So I don't know whether it does actually or not. Um, so yeah, I questioned that, that relationship because they've got such opposite temperaments. And I did as well raise quite an eyebrow to the, the, the scenes that are discussed, which are like the sex scenes between the two of them, because it's kind of described in a really kind of misogynistic way. And I don't know if that's like the times or, or what, but I looked at the, because I didn't, read it, I didn't really know whether the, the author was male or female. Um, and I googled it and I was like, yeah, this is this is definitely a male. And you can tell because it's written in a kind of male way, um, like a stereotypical kind of way. So I was kind of a bit like thinking that that perhaps wasn't realistic. Um, and I think that, um, I'm trying to, th I'm sorry, I was just trying to read on my board what I've actually put there. Um, oh, that was it. Um, I, I was I've got a word written on my board that says fictional, but I thought it said functional and I was like, why have I put functional? But yeah, so what I was going to say is um, the way that Curtis writes, I don't know why I'm using the first name there, I think it's because I was, I was a bit iffy about how to pronounce it, um, Sittenfeld, Sittenfeld. Uh, the way that it's kind of written, 
uh, Charlie's character, it's kind of almost like a, a fictional way to address the public's uh, bemusement at why his wife was married to him. That's like the real president that it's about. I'm not going to tell you who it is because I think you can... Uh, I'll leave that one as a, as a not a spoiler for you um because this president was a bit of a buffoon so to actually be with a woman who's got such a good reputation and actually had a, a really good rating in terms of public opinion it was a bit of an odd pairing i think uh, everyone else is probably thinking uh, that about them publicly as well as what i was thinking of them in the book um so essentially like it's a really good book really enjoyed it thoroughly enjoyed like the the first kind of like 300 pages it was like a four star up to this point but obviously as you can see it's a massive book like it took me so long to read it um and it's like 636 pages so by the time it got to the end or like past the 300 pages so that the second half it kind of lost traction and it kind of lost me a little bit um and I began to kind of lose interest it's like when he actually becomes the president it's kind of less interesting um because obviously that's the the part that um is like gripping you to go through it to find out who it is and, and that kind of thing it's more of a kind of story about people's lives so it's not like there's very much happening in terms of like like it's not very plot driven it's kind of more about their relationship with each other and then you know they have a daughter and, and that relationship as well so um it was nice to read i enjoyed reading it and i'm really glad that that the person that gave it to me um gave it to me because i would never have picked it up before and they'd said the same thing which is why they gifted it me so it's one of those books that's just nice to kind of read and be with but it's not like amazing um, and it's just a touch too long i think so um yeah it's worth reading but maybe as a slow burner um aside for you know something else that you read that's a bit more interesting 